Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use slip mode in Serato DJ. Now, slip mode is a super cool feature that when activated, it allows you to manipulate your audio as normal. So you can scratch it, you can loop it, you can trigger cue points, manipulate the platter, anything you wanna do, all that cool stuff. However, once you've finished manipulating it, the playback position will be returned to where it would have been if you had not manipulated the audio at all. So this allows you to do some really super cool tricks with your cue points and your loops, all the while it'll keep the playhead in the same place where it is in the track. So once you stop, it'll be right there continuing the track as normal. So to enable slip mode, all you have to do is click this button right here, or you can use the button on your Serato DJ controller or your Serato enabled mixer or a MIDI controller that you've MIDI mapped this button to, whatever works best for you. And you don't have to activate slip mode before the track starts. You can start it at any time. So let me give you a few examples of how this works. So I'm playing the track right now and I'm gonna activate slip mode. And then right now I'm gonna trigger this cue point with my controller. So you see the playhead stays in the same position it would have been while I was hitting this cue point. So I can hit all these cue points and it will always be where it would have been. So you get the idea. So next we can do some loop rolls without using the auto loop roll function, just by using auto loop. So here I got my loop. I'm just gonna turn it on and off. You can also re-loop a loop you've created earlier. So I'm gonna turn this loop on and I'm just gonna hit re-loop. Okay, so now it's playing and it can loop through, it'll continue looping. So let's let it loop once. Okay, so now when I disable the loop, it's right back where it would have been if I had never looped it at all. And the same goes for scratching. You know, it just keeps going. Pretty cool. Another cool thing you can do is in your setup, you can adjust the stop time of your start stop button to add a little bit of a tail on it, kind of like how a turntable sounds. So when I stop it, it makes that sort of sound. So right now, all I'm doing is starting and stopping the track. I can do it with this too. But it just continues playing as normal. So that's the basic idea of how to use slip mode in Serato DJ. If you wanna learn more, check out the next video.